Viviana, how you been? I've been good. Where's your dude at? He's in jail. It's been four months and he gets out in two more months. And the reason why he's in jail because we were just flying the sign in the where 28th and Peoria is at, the, where people fly the signs at, we were right there in the middle and they went to go up to us and they told him to sit down, then they told me to sit down. And there was other people flying the sign and they always go up to him. And they warrant searched us and they said they didn't find him and another cop pulled up. And that cop was a, he was a, you know, asshole. And after that, he said, do they have any warrants? And he, they, the other cop said no. And he's all looked more into his documents and they found the warrant. Then they arrested him. How long did they give him? I don't know. I just know he gets out December. December? So what, two more months? What are you doing in the meanwhile? Uh, well, yesterday I went to detox, and but I, they uh, right there on 59th at Peoria, Aurora. They didn't accept me because they said I'm not depression or I'm not too suicidal. So they didn't accept me. Where, where are you staying at right now? I'm out here still on the streets. Random spots? But it's getting harder because the cops are, every spot we go to, they kick us out everywhere, so. They've been cracking down lately, huh? Bad, yeah, they've been. That's what I've heard. The tunnels, bad. They've been arresting everyone in the tunnels. Here, Cactus, even on 43rd and Peoria, it's bad over there. Like, that's where the cooling center's at, where all the homeless people go. And most everybody that's out here is already in jail. Yeah, I noticed a lot of the bus stops are getting cheered out. And they just raided the tunnels right now. Oh, yeah? Like, 20 minutes ago, that's where me and her were to go. And we did it because once we were about to go down there, they went down there. So. I don't know why they trip on the tunnels. Like, you, you can't even see people. They say sidewalk trafficking. So. I could see why they trip on the bus stops, but I don't know about the tunnels. You can't even see people. Because people, people that go through there, they go around, like, in the street. And so when they do that, when people see that, they call the cops because us homeless people are down there. They call us homeless people, so. You guys not like that term? Homeless? No, because everybody's the same. Anybody could end up in the same situation in one day. That's what we tell people, like, me and Angel, we lost everything in one day, and we didn't expect to be homeless. Just, people just need to be careful what they say because anything could happen one day. That's true. So, didn't you go home for a little bit? Yeah, I went home for a little bit, and me and my family, you know, we just, we just, I'm bad turned on us, it's hard. That's what I was going to ask, like, why don't you try to go home right now? It's hard because everybody's still there, and, you know, I'm still dirty, so. Is Angel in the county jail here? Uh, yeah. Okay. And he's clean. Do you get to talk to him or not? Uh, yeah, I talked to him twice, that's it. And he has not called me since, so I don't know. It's been two months since he hasn't called me. No, a, one, a month and a half he hasn't called me. So I haven't talked to him, but he's been doing good. He's happy. He gained weight, he's fat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's fat. <laughs> He's healthy. I'm happy. Do you have a phone on you right now? Yeah. An Obama phone? Uh, yeah. That's where he calls you, right? Yeah. Okay. The GTL app, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Are you able to accept collect calls on there, or how does it do? Uh, oh, there's a prepaid card that you could get in there. Right? Yeah, and he, um, he, well, his friends, they let him use um, their um. They're, um, a couple of minutes? Yeah. Okay. He, he has good friends in there. And even pe a lot of people out here, that are, they're all in there. So he he feels more comfortable in there now. Does he have, like, I know he said he has a dad, right? Mm -hmm. Does his dad send him any money, like, on his books? No? Not that I know of. Because him and his dad, like, both of us, we don't really. They're not in good terms either? Mm -mm. Why is that? Because he wants him to do better, right? 
His dad doesn't really, yes, he, he wants him to do better, but his dad doesn't understand what withdrawals are. Yeah. Like what he did, like about the the pills, he doesn't understand what, like what, what it is. He's old school. Yeah, he's so, like the old school Mexicano. Yeah, so he yeah. doesn't really, he knows yeah, there's help. Yeah, he knows there's help out there, but he doesn't really know about like stuff like that, so. Yeah. And his mom, she she helps him. Like, he's a mom's boy, so <laughs> she helps him. She sends him money, and they're on good terms, and I'm happy. That's good. Cause that's all he wanted, his mom. What's up with your kid? I know that you had a kid last time we spoke, right? It was a girl. Her name's Eloisa. Yeah. She's one. She's one already. Mhm. Have you seen her recently? Not recently. I bet. Um, when I got to contact with them, they have not answered their calls or anything, so I don't know. Okay. They haven't been answering me. So, I don't know about that. But the boys, Cesar and Angela, they're, they're big, smart, loud. How old are they? C Cesar's seven and Angelo's three. They talk a lot, but Cesar, he um, he doesn't talk much. Like when he wants something or anything, like he'll like he'll be like he'll point at it. Like he has like speech um speech therapy. Is he like autistic or something? Uh, cause my my non tata, you know, they're old school, so they'll like baby talk to him like hey, da, da, da. they'll be like come here, come here. They'll that, talk to him. A, like, yeah, the seven year old Cesar, okay. he's in kindergarten. Smart, good with phones, tablets, anything that's yeah. that's electronic. He's good at it. That's Take it the away. Thing that the kids and that's how, like, actually, how he really got way smarter. He watches videos. He knows how. To, he knows how to control everything. Like, he he's smart, dude. Like, it's crazy. Like, he's really smart. Do they stay far away from here? They live on thirty fifth and Choi Street. So, like, oh. the next two lights and two two lights up. That's right there. I just don't like going there or being there because it's so crowded, like, yeah. I mean, my mom, my nana thought that I called mom and dad, they don't care because, you know, anywhere, like, my uncles fight with their girlfriends, they all go home, so they have somewhere to go to, so. So, yeah, but it's been getting worse out here because people have been, a lot of people have been dying a lot, it's getting worse, like, they're, it's fucking sad. Kids, kids are out here, and like their parents don't even care about them. Like it's sad. Their parents will freaking give them up for. It's it's fucking sad. People just keep getting younger out here, huh? Little girls out here walking around like it's sad, dude. Like, and I tried talking to them, and they just don't care. It's crazy, like. All right, you're getting on well. Thank you for the update. I really appreciate it. Are you okay if I upload it on my YouTube channel? Mm hmm And just in case anybody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations, do you have a contact information that you want to share? Yeah, I have a, I have a, I don't. Did you make a new email or yeah. the same one? Yeah, I have a new one. It's, it's shorty. It's shorty602 <laughs> at gmail.com. It's shorty602 at gmail.com. At If it's not that one, it's shorty60202 at gmail.com. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.